Welcome at last to the ghost ship. Today we are Pizza Ghost. Whoa, Lineback, you actually came with? I mean, you had no choice, but... You're actually on it. If I'm not out here, I don't load in, and then... I'm not real. Uh, this is my old apartment. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't vacuum. <laughs> It gets foggy, children appear, you know, the works. Girlfriends get kidnapped. <laughs> the usual. How'd you know my middle name? <laughs> Frozen Clucky Cuckoo. It's hyphenated, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So, uh, I guess, uh, when, uh, Celia over here got fused, she also gained a new personality? She never liked him. So, uh, that, is, that is fair. Yeah, I don't think anybody actually likes Link. I mean, I do, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. We don't like him, we like ours. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Ghost ship! Full of spiders and rats. You know, like a basement. And talking statues. Which, you know, I think that's fair. That's par for the course. You know, why the hell not? I got money. That doesn't help me. <laughs> well, looking at the uh, bottom screen map over there, it kind of looks like uh, this ship actually has like a layout as opposed to the one in Wind Waker. Yeah. Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, oh, oh come on. <laughs> that was almost like a pop scare of how cheap that was. Okay, seriously. Uh, um, playtesting? Can we can we try again? Or... <laughs> was that the was that the puzzle? All right, we put two ghosts. That'll slow him down. We freed a tomato. Oh, it's a girl. Oh. You're not Tetch. The legendary P Finally, some yes, recognition. thank you. <laughs> Pizza Joe, like, adjusts his hat and everything. Like, <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Today, ma'am, I am your hero. <laughs> you know what? I'll actually listen to what you have to say. Already am, but I'll let you have that one. Save my fellow porcelain dolls. When you find all of us, we'll stack into each other. <laughs> Makes us easier to carry around. We share the same mind and stomach. Here, look. <laughs> Spiders come out of her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Joe, you know what? Weird, but since you're my biggest fan. <laughs> Now you're my mutant. <laughs> uh, oh, over here. There you go. <laughs> the Cubus sisters, huh? The Caboose. <laughs> the Caboose. Yeah, I mean, that would be a good tie-in to the next game. <laughs> Just wanted a hug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey. Alright. <laughs> that works. I was gonna say boomerang, but alright. If, if the corner's open. Neither or. <laughs> Not so much in that case. Is it, oh, I was thinking, oh, it's a spider. <laughs> Ouch. Kind of makes me wonder what exactly the spiders have been eating since they're on a ghost ship. Fire. Fire, <laughs> naturally. The ghosts of other mosquitoes that they've eaten. And oh look, the best part of the Temple of the Ocean King is also in here. The crystals. Oh. 
so the ghosts had to have invented that, because they knew it'd be annoying. Well, they're annoying. <laughs> no, don't realize it yet. I could just jump across. <laughs> I think that's part of Zelda's charm, where you're just like, I don't know how to solve the puzzle, and then when you see it's like really easy, you just kind of smack your own forehead like, oh yeah, that's a thing I can easily do. There's too many damn spiders here. <laughs> yeah, right now it's looking more like the spider ship. <laughs> oh, Alright, nice moves there, Pizza Chill. <laughs> Solving one puzzle with part of another puzzle. I like it. I never thought to use it as a projectile. <laughs> Zoom in, I see. <laughs> Her head starts spinning, I... see. I'm okay with this, since you're my fan. Whoop. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you, ghosts. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> just, just a quick little tangent, Satan has appeared in my D&D campaign, and he's actually a pretty chill guy. <laughs> Motion sickness. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that there was no floor other than the few walls and the little planks of woods. It just looks so cool. Get any closer. <laughs> Hold my legs, I want to check. <laughs> so uh, now I can actually see why the spiders keep respawning. I don't know if they respawn. Oh yeah, they respawn. Yeah, because it's... It's literally on the We're other on side. The <laughs> but yeah, I'm seeing well, like, yeah, they, uh, they thought we should do an escort. And you know what? I believe something like this actually happens again in the next one. I don't remember. It's similar in concept. I will say you'll get very tired of hearing you go, yeah! <laughs> will you please bring back my older sister that probably also have seen her? Or at least have her arm. Oh, excuse uh, me. You, whoa. Is this what it's like to have a hug? <laughs> I can assure you, one of my ancestors never had one of those. All of them, frankly. <laughs> We'd all hug Link if we could. Oh, oh goody. <laughs> what every growing boy needs. <laughs> the pirate ship of the Ocean King. Pretty much. Instead of the phantoms, we get the reaplings. Which are basically just phantoms, except they can go through walls. That sounds more horrifying, actually. Do they kill you in one hit? They do reset you to the start of the room, yeah. Ugh. Makes sense, since we're not using uh, the phantom hourglass. I mean, at least the area doesn't sap your health. Unless you walk under the spikes. Yeah, and you'd let the spider eat you. My head's too big. <laughs> okay, he's got a metal plate in his back. As you do. Ooh. He's got a very unfortunate wound in his butt. Oh, it doesn't kill me. It doesn't reset the room. It actually kills me by taking my health. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. Hmm. 
Might not have been what I intended to shoot. <laughs> but you know what? I think it might have been for the best. I could see to your future. Huh. Well, well, what's it say? Does it say that I'm the legendary Pizza Joe? It says treasure. Oh. That's not as good. Oh yes, Pizza Joe. <laughs> hmm. Christ. So I wonder if they're trying to hint to us something. Wait, I remember this. The left is the hand I don't use, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty Lucy, I'm a righty. Ah, oh, Rubors. Oh god, they... <laughs> and also it summons a Reapling. <laughs> yes, asking me for help. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, uh, for a place called the Ghost Ship, not that many ghosts. I mean, I wouldn't- I don't know if you'd count the Reapers as ghosts, but... The ship is a ghost. It's dead. Yeah, that's true. This is what happened to the Titanic. Oh no, don't you. Quick, my third biggest fan, defend me! Do a better job! And of course, her screams summon the Reaplings. Then why are they here? I have a stone! A kidney stone. <laughs> hmm. Interestingly, they didn't care about the girl. Yeah, and uh, the girl is more scared of spiders than, you know, actual death. Maybe they're tight with the Reapers, you know, like since they've been here for so long. They're tied with the thing that's a danger to them. <laughs> well, when you've been stuck in the ghost ship for so long, you only have so many people to talk to other than your siblings. And they're all on separate parts of the ship. <laughs> we, you took a step, I saw that. You took a step. <laughs> Gosh! I almost felt a little bad for that spider. Only a little. Such a huge barrel. I mean, it's like using a shoe against a spider. <laughs> it's about equivalent. <laughs> it's like using a shoe that's two times as heavy. We don't know how heavy the Sculptulas are. That is true. I mean, Pizza Joe, look at that, you're getting your own little set of groupies. You know, like, the, the pizzettes. The, the Pizza Janes? No, wait, that's your sister. Please, stop doing that. <laughs> you can call them the Pizza Bagels, perfect. Because they're small. <laughs> Blue pizza, what everyone needs. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big room. So. Why is this in the ghost ship? Uh. Well, the ghost needs something to do. They probably wanted to play actual steel drums, and they got confused, and they <laughs> thought that was the instrument. I'll be honest, I'm a little underwhelmed by the ghost ship. Yeah, all this hype about the ghost ship, and it's a very simplistic dungeon. <laughs> where, where they gave you a room where it was like, can you fight the two ghosts? Yeah. Can you fight five spiders that take their time? 
Yeah. Hooray! I see the trap door. Oh. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe they're setting something up because, uh, <laughs> if they centered the whole game around the ghost ship, not impressed. Well, Pizza Joe, that's your fault. Good thing you forgot to jump. <laughs> oh. Get the spider, get the spider, get the spider. He'll leave on his own. <laughs> that's the order to pull the levers. It could have told me what order that was, though. Just writing that down. Well, that's actually a good place to put it. When I played this game, I put it over exactly where the switches were, so it cluttered my screen. You you must have had to write very finely. <laughs> I just made them small, though. But seeing that, it's like, oh, duh, that makes way more sense. Yeah, that's right, get a job. So I read the sign as saying, okay, I need to pull the second switch first, and then the fifth one second, etc. What it's actually doing, and Yoshi, you actually had the better idea, the numbers are lined up so that they would be on top of the switch that you would need to pull in that order. So the fourth switch gets pulled first, and then the first switch gets pulled second, that order. It's okay, Pizza Joe, I struggle to count sometimes too. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> I heard a noise and now I don't see it. Ah, I was trying to get him around. <laughs> it kind of looked like the spider actually spooked him. Alright, giggling drum, whatever that sign said. <laughs> Some of them have snakes. Or rats. You know how much effort it took to find this damn thing? You know how simplistic it is? I know it's on DS, but... Yep, got caught again, don't care. <laughs> so much money in here. Yeah, I mean... Well, I guess it would make sense for a ghost ship that I'm assuming was a pirate ship. Oh, hi. Fat <laughs> 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 treasure chest. I'm the oldest and therefore the best hidden. <laughs> and the smartest. I have no sense of personal space. Cool! Me neither. But I'm taken. The back is above the butt, oh thank you. <laughs> I was just gonna say something along the lines of, you know, you know, Pizza Joe, uh, rest- sleeping on knives really isn't as bad as you think. You should give it a try one of these days. You do know what a knife looks like, bro. It's okay, as long as she's fast, too. Well, spiders, so no. D damn it. You know, Pizza Joe, lying on a bed of nails is okay, but they need to be really thin. <laughs> You know what's also great? After you get off your needle-filled bed, you just take a nice hot shower and lemon juice. It's perfect. <laughs> Add some salt. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> Maybe roll around in mayonnaise afterwards, just to, <laughs> just to sweeten yourself up a little. It's good for the hair. <laughs> you know, Pizza Joe, remember when you carried Medley? You can do that for her. Falling in the ocean did a number on my back. <laughs> there you are, little sister. Little sister, big sister. Little sister, big sister. <laughs> Pizza Joe. He just has his own life. I have no life. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. They're evil. I feel utterly betrayed by people I don't care about. It was so subtle, though. If I go hiss and grow four arms, will you all be scared again? <laughs>
Unless that was a ruse as well. Well, that's creepy. Woo. I love how they only gained an extra word. <laughs> There's still a cute <laughs> sister. <laughs> So pretty much every Zelda game has you playing tennis with the boss in some capacity. In this case, they literally play it as you're playing a game. So yes, we are actually playing tennis. The annoying thing is, oh, there goes the first one. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> the annoying thing is each of these have their own health bars of sorts. You need to hit them each twice. So this can take a while. Well, I'm sure they're smart enough to change their strategy like that. <laughs> you, you know, guys, you could just try to cancel your attack or throw the fireball <laughs> at the ocean. <laughs> they're like, oh, I don't want it. The lasers really never hit you. <laughs> so you guys cool with the fact that we just killed our youngest sister? Or... We're the diabolical Cuba sister, not regretful. <laughs> yeah, do you think we care? I don't even care that I just got hit. Yeah, yeah, actually I do. I know you said we were playing tennis, but I see for the most part they like playing tennis with each other too. <laughs> yeah. You ever feel like a fourth wheel? Yeah, replacing Blech. the previous fourth. Whoa! <laughs> replacing the previous fourth wheel that died. Yeah, I, I, I feel like. Yeah, you know, Blue. Maybe if you aim near Pizza Joe, <laughs> it's <just> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now for the eldest. Was it Green the eldest? Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was the last one we found. She was the one who had the great advice about the needles and the lemon juice. <laughs> oh, and she's gotten more health. Oh. Because she's older. And that she died first. <laughs> Technically, as a ghost, wouldn't that mean she's more frail? But, I, I don't know. Well, she wasn't smarter than the other one. <laughs> a ghost boss key. I like it. Man, that was the worst date ever. <laughs> That's Toots' thing. <laughs> this is just another birthday party for Pizza Joe. <laughs> You're right. You know what? This is still the worst birthday ever. I make up for the few minor hits I took, which is a nice change. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this was the easiest of all the dungeons we've encountered. Yeah, it's more long than difficult, really. Yeah, I, I would say at least this. Like, this is more of a waiting thing, though. I'm just more of a Temple of the Ocean King. Yeah. Like, that was probably the most, like, annoying part. Are you ready for a twist? Multiple twists? Multiple twists, you say? Oh no. I told her she was a work of art. <laughs> and she believed me. Too much. <laughs> Just comes in with a slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> You will not believe what the spiders gave me. <laughs> you know they blend really easily. Yeah, they also gave me their spider web to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Lightbeck, no. Yep, she's dead. 
Yep, this is how children tend to feel. <laughs> I've heard of being sterile before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm the fifth sister. <laughs> Pizza Joe rams his sword through. I am Ocean. <laughs> Not almost. He's the Ocean King! You, you know what? You actually were right. So. <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> I'm a very damp being. So this is why Phantom Hourglass feels kinda half-baked in some senses, especially the story. We don't find out about the actual antagonist until halfway through the game. And he's not really a character. He's just kind of a thing we need to kill. Yeah. You'll never see anybody being like, Oh man, Bellum, one of my favorite Zelda villains. It's more like, oh, it's a villain that Pizza Joe has to kill. Literally at the start of Spirit Tracks, I had to stop and make sure that Bellum was the name of the villain from this game, because I could not remember. <laughs> Turned me into a worm. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, the way I tilted my head, I thought it was a puppy. I couldn't actually yeah. tell what I was looking at. <laughs> the orange is supposed to be the nose. The bit below it is the beard, I think, or mustache. <laughs> yeah. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of these guys aren't really around anymore, so... I guess it's kind of another thing, maybe it would have been more effective if they introduced him earlier. Maybe, like, if at one of the temples, or outside of it, we saw Bellum doing something, but we didn't know what it was, and he disappeared. Like a teaser. If anything, the phantoms themselves have more of an impact, and that's just because they're a central mechanic of the Ocean Temple. Yeah, this, this is something that confuses me in Spirit Tracks, because in that temple there are also phantoms, but the phantoms in this game were extensions of Bellum. So it's like, hmm, a piece of evil. That'll protect our holy temple. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the way, do you like my photo album? All these paintings I made. I also ate Nico. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. <laughs> and then he pulls out a second frame and he starts. I like how he actually sat. <laughs> Such a polite little boy. Yeah, he, Pizza Joe's a good boy. <laughs> Shatters! <laughs> Pizza Joe's eyes are completely hollow. Also, it would be really fucked up if your friend just broke into a million pieces just now. Please stop wiping the little dead girl. <laughs> eh, it's alright, we have enough spider web to put her pieces back. If not, I can make more. <laughs> Get some marble and cement and some chewing gum, we'll fix it. No. <laughs> yes. Pizza Joe says hiding all the giant red rupees I found. No treasure. <laughs> yep, not a single one. <laughs> Shoving one in his boot. <laughs> well, now Linebeck also became a ghost, so... <laughs> So 
it's called the Island of North Gust. Damn it. I was gonna say Isle of North. <laughs> <laughs> we met Zows. Yeah, we did. Just for a lark. We'd have to find a way to slay the monster, perhaps with a sword. Oh god, he's Joe's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the story, I'm not interested. I don't wanna. <laughs> you can't make me, not if I can't replace my body parts with coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know what I said. Do I actually hate Lineback? No. I think I like him too much. <laughs> He's too goofy. That he's your friend. <laughs> I'm sorry that you've met him in this mortal plane. Seeing some odd parallels that kind of reflect the next game, sort of, but through dialogue. Yeah, Spirit Tracks is very much, let's try that again. <laughs> it really does feel like a take, too. But, that's a ball bluster. Yeah, poor Tetra just can't catch a break. At least in the last game, it was because the second she was Zelda again and was like, aha, I knew you, but here, she just got screwed just for being a pirate. Just because she checked on the ghost ship. As soon as she jumped on, didn't she get struck by lightning? Apparently. Or maybe the lightning was used to cover up whatever did it to her. In any case, she should stick closer to Pizza Joe. Nothing bad ever happens to him. Well, I mean, tons of bad things happen to him, but he lives. <laughs> like he. <t> <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you're separated, Tetra. <laughs> I mean, for all we know, like, who knows what Pizza Graham has been up to these days. Oh, she's probably cooked herself by now. <laughs> As in the soup, or...? Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's best soup is out of ingredients. <laughs> There's only one best grandma left, then. Meanwhile, Pizza Jane's been having these rad pirate adventures on the Ostrom. She's driving an island. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow with a steering wheel, and not like a, <laughs> one for a boat, like for a car, and she just sticks it in the sand and it works because the island thinks she's cute, and they're like, well, we can't make her sad. Yeah, that makes sense to someone. <laughs> I was going to continue that that little bit of silence. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, the ghost ship's a little bit of a letdown, since it's so central to the plot, at least. I mean... I wasn't expecting anything huge, but it's just so much attention was given to the ghost ship, and now that we're there, aside from, well, the plot, it wasn't really much of a dungeon. It is kind of a dull moving of the goalposts, because Oceus knew about Bellum the whole time. But he's like, oh, we still need to get you to the ghost ship. Okay, we're there. Anyway, let's do something else. <laughs> if anything, like, this feels like uh, the piece is for a draft one of, like, yeah, we can make a Zelda game on the DS. Yeah, I think first draft is a good description of how the plot feels. But what we're going to be doing now is next time we got to go see Zhao's, who will actually talk to us this time, because apparently he's omnipotent. <laughs> it's the nose. It must be. <laughs> and he's going to tell us what we need to do next to fight Bellum. I mean, I do imagine it's still sword-based. It's, it's a sword. 